So, Victoria, just how much training did you do before this? I've probably had about half a dozen show jumping lessons with Yogi before that, um, and one sort of session with Nick Skelton, uh, but that's just about it. So, uh, it's a very new skill for me, very different from race riding, and uh, I, I may have been a bit steady out there, but that was, I think, about as good as I am at the moment. <laughs> Do you think it's something you might pursue? Oh, it's so much fun. I've thoroughly enjoyed all the training and preparation for it. I mean, when I was asked to be part of the, the jump jockey team, um, you know, by the Injured Jockeys Fund, I was a bit kind of surprised. I was like, but I'm only going to slow you guys down. But they were like, no, it's fine. I want you to be part of it. I, I was like, the opportunity to jump at Olympia is just too great to say no. So on two accounts, it was, a, it was definitely a yes from me. So I tried my best. And you've been out and about doing a bit of point to pointing, haven't you? How's that going? No, the first ride didn't go so well. I got unseated at the eighth fence. Um, bit of rider error, but hoping to, to ride again in a point to point just after Christmas. So I've got two horses in training for, for pointing, and uh, yeah, I love them to bits, and uh, I ride out most days. So. so you're really into this now. This is something you'd like to pursue long term. Well, ultimately, if I can be at the yard six days a week, I am um, doing two or three lots. I, I just really, I love being around the horses. It's just, um, it's something that's really kind of, it makes me really happy. I can't explain to you. I almost feel sick sometimes. I love it that much. Horses are just so incredible and I, I couldn't really have estimated how much it was going to affect me, you know, like really emotionally affect me and how much I love it. So uh, I can see horses being part of my life forever. And what about beyond horses? What else is going on at the moment? Oh, to be honest, horses take up a lot of time, I've realised. So once you're in, you seem to be all in. You know, it's something difficult. It's difficult to do it part time because it's just, I mean, all consuming in many ways. Um, I've still got various other things going on and, you know, I have a bike brand and I have various other sponsorship deals and these things, which are all great. Public speaking, these, uh, you know, after dinner events and bits and all kinds of things. And I love it. Um, but I love riding the horses more. Do you find that you've been sort of warmly welcomed by the other people within racing? Well, actually, it was really interesting. To start with, obviously, there was quite a lot of sceptics, as you imagine there should be, because I was tra trying to do something ridiculous in, in, in training to be a jockey in a year. But I think when people realised that I was committed and that I was putting a lot of time and effort into it, and that I was serious. I really got a lot of support and help. And some of these guys, the jockeys riding tonight, they were really helpful and gave me a lot of advice in changing rooms and be like, you know, you'll be fine. And they're very supportive. I think because they appreciate that jump racing is so dangerous, there's a real nice sort of camaraderie that goes on behind the scenes. So on the course, they're all against each other when the, the flag comes down or the tape um, sort of goes down, that they, they're off and racing. But the rest of the time, they really understand that it's a, it's a tough job and that there's lots of risks involved. Obviously there's been a lot in the news about sexism within cycling. Have you found have you have you found this at all in racing or is it very much you're on a level playing field? I think in sport in general it's it's very much a male dominated environment. However, I feel the, the great thing about equestrian sport in particular is that there isn't really any boundaries between what a woman can do and a man can do or age-wise. I mean, you can be um, you know really young and some of these kids are racing Shetland ponies today you know you can get into racing at that in pony racing right through to becoming a, a gold medalist at 58 like Nick Skelton which is incredible so the fact that, that, that the equestrian sport allows you to sort of those barriers to disappear I think is something very special and unique and something that I am a big fan of. And finally what, what else are you going to do here at Olympia? Well I've already done a little bit of shopping this is quite incredible. It's got a lovely festive feel here. I'm here with some friends and some family um, and supporting me and watching me. And it's just really nice to sort of come out pre-Christmas and just enjoy a, a really beautiful atmosphere. And it's, it's electric here, so it's really good fun. Brilliant.